Guys, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to break down a 100 pound ahi, get your poke cubes. I'm going to teach you how to make saku blocks to get ready for sashimi cuts. But most important, most important, I'm going to show you the fisherman's secret cut, the very special part of the ahi where we made this dish. Aloha guys, my name is Kale D. Shanks. Welcome to the channel, Hawaii's Only. We release videos every single Saturday, so hit that subscribe button, notification bell, like and comment, you know all the scoops already. I'm gonna take you through the process of breaking down a 100 pound ahi, but most important, I'm gonna show you three secret parts of the ahi that usually only the fishermen have access to because we're the ones breaking down the fish. But I'm gonna show you guys one of these secrets, which is the belly, and I'm gonna show you guys how to Manola. chef it up. Zig Zane, somebody, somebody, anybody. <laughs> Shout out to Mana Ola. My brother, anytime you're ready for that collaboration, hit me up in the DMs. Okay, anyway, focus, back to the video. First thing we're doing is taking off the head of the ahi. Most people will start behind that fin right there, and they're gonna remove the collars and the ahi together, though. I mean the ahi, the head. What I'm doing is I'm removing the head so that I can work the collars because I want to keep these collars when I throw this on a grill. If you take off the collars and the head at the same time, then you, you're all uneven and your head is all lopsided and then you got to get a hammer and your knife. And I don't like to do that to my knives and hammer it and then break off the collars. So if you take off the head first, which is just a 45 degree angle cut on both sides, then you can work your collars and get a nice whole collar just like this, okay? we've got our heads removed heads we've got the head removed and we've got our collars removed now what we're going to do is take our what the crap who is videoing this thing my gosh can't even see the fish sorry that's me videoing and cutting it's hard to do guys anyway you take your fillet knife and we're going to outline the fish what does that mean outline well we're going to take the knife and we're just going to insert like a one inch incision and we're going to run it through the tail all the way up through the head just like what i'm doing here and then we're going to flip that fish around and do the belly portion okay so just a little one inch incision to outline the entire fish the reason why you do your one inch incision is because right here you're going to go ahead and trace all the way to the bone that fillet knife like right along the bone you're going to run it all the way across from the tail to the head Okay, and then you're gonna run your knife down the middle of this ahi, right along the spine, as we're doing right now. And that's just gonna remove the whole filet, one quarter of the fish. Check it out. Now we're gonna repeat this process on the belly portion. So the belly portion is only a small section. We're gonna come right through the ribs on the top right here. You're gonna cut through a couple of rib bones, it's not too bad. Oh, and you know that belly meat that I showed in the first clip? This is where it's at. It looks weird, right? I'm gonna show you how to clean it up. So we're gonna take our fillet knife and we're gonna take and remove the belly portion. You're gonna cut through the ribs, which is what I'm doing here. Same thing, you're gonna trace along the bones and you're just gonna run your knife and that belly portion comes right off. And then once again, to take a look at the belly, oh, you know what happened is I for some reason, I don't have the footage of me breaking down the belly. So here's your breakdown in this little clip. That red line is your knife. You take the knife and you run it right through there. And that's how you remove the secret belly portion that we're going to chef up later in this video. Now, here's that other secret I was telling you about. This is scraped bone meat. That scraped bone meat is probably the softest, flavorful meat in an entire fish. It's even better than the poke cubes and the sashimi that we're gonna make, okay? So if you ever get a chance to get bone meat fresh, you scrape it and you can make yourself a killer poke. Now, we got one whole section or side of the ahi broken down. This next part is pretty simple. You just keep the fish laying down and then you're gonna lift up the tail of the bone and just run your knife across and remove the bone from the filet and then take your knife and run it straight down 
And that's how you're going to get your four sections of the ahi. As you guys can tell, I don't know if you can see the bone in the back here. There's a whole lot of meat left on it. It's because I'm not that good at that part. Like, I kind of suck at it. I, I, I've been practicing, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not real good. I'm not bad, but yeah, there's guys that are probably laughing at this video who see all that meat on there. But we've got our four sections, and now we're going to break open this loin. And I'm going to show you how to get your saku blocks. But first, a quick little snack. This is... This is also a secret part of the fish. There's only a very little portion of this. Fatty belly skin meat. Oh my gosh. You don't need anything at all. You just eat it right off of the skin. It's, it's so good. Here, I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to try to get a good frame for you. You want to cut against the green to make your saku block. Your saku block is what you then take to make sashimi. If you cut with the grain, what's gonna happen is when you make your sashimi, there's gonna be long lines of sinew or connective tissue that run through the sashimi. And it's gonna be really chewy and it's gonna be really irritating and gross to tell you the truth. So you're gonna cut against the grain and so that now that your grains are going up and down, when you cut your sashimi, it's almost gonna look like a caterpillar, I guess. So it, when you eat it, the grains are not long ways, they're short ways. And that right there is what makes perfect sashimi. And then for the rest, you just chunk it up and make poke. We actually have a huge baby luau, so we gotta use all this um, fish to make poke. But while we're doing it, I figured I'd show you guys how to get the saku blocks and then how to cut. So right here, this is the saku block right here. And that's the sashimi cut. And try look at the grain. You see, let me go slow this down and, and um, take a close up one second. Right there, you see that? The grains are up and down short, not long ways. That's how you make sashimi. But I see guys making sashimi with the grains, they going true to fish. I get all losing them because it's all fuck up. So, hey, these are the collars. It's late at night, we're drinking beer, we're tired. We just throw this guy's on salt pepper. That's it. Now, here's the golden boy right here. This is the ahi belly, okay? It's got membrane over it. It looks really weird. It looks all white. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fillet it just like you're filleting a, like a, a fish, like you're skinning a fish. So we're gonna skin it, so to speak, okay? Right here, run your knife right through, and then we're gonna remove this membrane and it's gonna expose the flesh of the belly. Oh boy, my mouth is watering just thinking about this thing. So you remove the membrane and you get your belly and just chunk it up. We're gonna be featuring this local brother. His name is, I forget his name, but he gave me this garlic lime chili. He owns his company. And so we're gonna feature his sauce on our show. Cause you know, that's what we do. We shout out the local brothers who are trying to, you know, make a living and pay their bills. Garlic lime chili sauce. This stuff is homemade in Hawaii. It's delicious. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a killer coconut, spicy coconut sauce with it. First things first, though, is we're going to remove these little fingers. I like to call them. They're all supported by connective tissue. Okay, so that's why you can't really eat this stuff raw because it's really chewy. You got to scrape it or you got to cook it. And what happens is this portion is really ultra super fatty. So when you cook it, it doesn't dry out like typical ahi will. It'll stay super juicy and moist. So we're putting it on these skewers because it changes the texture of the fish. And the reason why is when it's on the skewers like this, it's uneven. And when you drop it in oil, certain parts of the ahi will cook harder or more well done. So you're gonna have little pieces of papa'a burnt crispiness and crunchiness and that Hawaiian salt crunch, it's the best ahi belly yakitori stick you will ever eat in your entire life. I promise you. So to get our sauce ready, we're just gonna segment this orange and then we're gonna marinate it in the garlic lime chili sauce, that spicy garlic sauce. And then we're gonna use this to dress our plate. When you eat a uh, traditional, I guess, yakitori stick, 
they serve it with shredded daikong green onion and yellow mustard and you dip your yakitori stick in the daikong and then you dip it in the mustard and then you can throw a little bit of lemon so we're changing it up just a little bit instead of using daikong i'm using pretty much all fruits and i'm just using fruits because this is all the stuff that was in my local grocery grocery market gro gross grocery market it was at my local store and so i got fresh um i think these lemons are from big island the orange is definitely from big island i got the pear and then i got the garlic lime chili sauce so instead of using daikong we're going to be using pear We had our orange segment cilantro and garlic lime chili sauce kind of marinating. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take some of that garlic lime chili sauce, some of that liquid, pour it into a pan. And then we're going to add in some coconut cream. This coconut milk, this, is, this can is actually coconut milk. But what happens is if you let it sit overnight, the cream and the, and the water separate from each other. And all the cream rises to the top. So I just take a couple spoonfuls of that cream and pour it into that mixture. And then we're going to add in a little bit of sugar. And this is going to make our coconut garlic lime chili sauce, which is what we're going to dress our ahi belly yakitori sticks with. Oh my gosh. Whew, the stuff is super good. Hit it with a couple dabs of that garlic lime chili sauce for that little zing. And I'll see you at the plating. Right now, we're going to lay down our orange segment and then our mango slice. Sorry, I forgot to tell you it was mango and orange slices inside the GLC marinade. We're gonna put our fried ahi belly yakitori sticks, the one we fried with the Hawaiian salt. We're gonna put a little bit of that shredded pear and GLC sauce, and we're gonna put a little bit of green onion. That's gonna represent our daikong. And then we're gonna put just a regular smear of yellow mustard on our plate. And then it's time to eat. We finish it off with that spicy coconut sauce. Guys, guys, we did it again. The chef's cut, the secret portion of the ahi that nobody tells you about. The ahi belly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next weekend. Aloha.